It is interesting when people say the gospel, the gospel, the good news. And over and over again, particularly in Mark, we have it. Jesus repeats the gospel again and again. This good news is simple and complicated. The good news is repent for the kingdom of God has come near and the time is fulfilled. All of those things are complicated and confusing. Repent, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God and has come near. But what if, what if it is actually just true? What if the time is fulfilled? What if this 24th day of January in 2021, the kingdom of God has come near? What if the time is fulfilled on this particular rainy Sunday in Portland, Oregon? If the present form of this world is passing away, then Jesus' passion as he walks up and down the beach on the Sea of Galilee, calling again and again, the kingdom of God is here, the kingdom of God is here. The time is fulfilled now and now and now. And I think of all the fishermen who did not look up, all of the fishermen who focused on their nets and tried not to pay attention to this passionate and glorious man calling that the time is now, the kingdom of God is pressing close to this world. The stories that we do have are Simon and Andrew and James and John. For whatever reason, this call of now perks their ears and they look up. There is something in their hearts that has been waiting for this moment, waiting for this now, waiting for this time to be fulfilled. There's something in their hearts that lets them set down their nets and walk away and walk into a new world that is breaking open right before them. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God has drawn near and this sweet passage from Corinthians asks us, how then do we live? What does it mean if the time is really fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near, if this present moment is slipping away from us and a new reality is coming in, what then? How do we live if love is already winning? How do we live if God is really showing up? If the kingdom of love has come near and the time is fulfilled, it transforms our grief and our joy. If the kingdom of God has really come near, if the kingdom of God is really being fulfilled in this moment, it transforms the way that we work and play and spend money and live in relationship with each other. If the kingdom of God has come this near, there is no more time to be self-conscious. We have run out of time to worry about what the neighbors are saying. We've run out of time to worry about how it looks from the outside. If the kingdom of God is coming this near to us, then this moment may be slipping away. This could be our last rainy Sunday to walk with the ones that we love. This could be the last time to kiss our dog on the forehead. It could even be the last time you get to load the dishwasher. The kingdom of God has come near. The kingdom of this world is passing away and love is pressing in to this fragile reality. The kingdom of God has come near and this one precious fragile moment shimmers in the rain. And this is exactly who we are and whatever we do today is exactly how we live in the kingdom of love. Repentance is all about seeing things in a different way. Re-examining the way that we walk through this world, re-examining what we think is necessary. Paul is begging for these people of Corinth to just look at their lives and see if the way that they have been living it is the life that they want to live in the kingdom of love. God is calling us and claiming us 
and inviting us. And this is the kingdom of love that we live in right now. Time is an illusion and God seems to play with it. All aspects of our reality will be affected. Our marriages and loves and economic transactions are all washed over in this new light of love. Because everything is also ridiculously basic and simple, as well as complicated and mystical, we will probably continue to date and get married, to buy stuff on Amazon, to do all of the things of this world, because it is hard to hold on to this urgency that Paul and Jesus claim. But what if in between the dishwasher and the Amazon package, what if we remember that the imminent apocalypse is just as real as this rainy Sunday morning? What if we can hold on to that call from Jesus that every area of our life is being utterly transformed by love and reality itself is being changed? There is no time to waste. There is nobody watching. So keep on doing the things that you need to do. Don't stop loading the dishwasher, but keep listening. Because the one who calls us saying that the time is fulfilled and the moment is now is calling. The time is always full and the moment is here. Amen.